Hi everyone, welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today, we have a fun art project from Kat Arguetta, an art teacher from Texas. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hi, I'm Katherine Arguetta and I'm a middle school art teacher at Cabasas Middle School in Lubbock, Texas. Today, we're going to be working with full cool and warm colors. So come on. Today, you will need a pencil, some color pencils, three cool colors, three warm colors, a paper, a ruler, and something you can trace. So today I'll be working with a paper that is the shape of a square. If you can't get a perfect square shaped paper, just follow the same steps and you'll be just okay. So first I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm going to measure one inch from the edge. So right around here, Then I'm going to draw a line at the one inch measure. I'm going to do that same thing on all four sides. Now once you get to this point, you want to erase the lines that are in the corners. So that way you end up with a square on the inside of your paper. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sharpener. This is what I'm going to use to trace. If you have a small little shaped uh, heart or square or whatever it is that you have that you can trace, you can use that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start tracing the bottom of this sharpener all over my paper. You want to make sure that you fill up the space completely. Now, you'll notice that when I drew that circle, I went through both areas, both the border and the square. You wanna make sure that you're doing that to help with the final design of your paper. Once you have your entire paper filled with your uh, tracing, you are going to grab your colors. Now, you have this perfectly drawn square right down the middle. This is going to be your dividing factor, okay? So that means this is going to divide the certain types of colors that you can use on the inside of the square and on the outside of the square. That's where you get your cool and warm colors. So these three colors, red, orange, and yellow, are our warm colors. These three colors, green, purple, and blue, are our cool colors. Now you can decide where you want your certain types of colors to go. I'm going to decide that my cool colors are going to go on the outside of my square. And my warm colors are going to go on the inside. Now, so that you're not confused, I suggest working warm colors at one time, cool colors on another time. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my warm and I'm going to start coloring in my circles. So now that I'm done with my warm colors, you'll see that I did not ever go outside of my square using my warm colors. I still colored in the parts of the circles that were cut off, but I never went past that square, okay? So now I'm gonna move on to my cool colors and I'm gonna start to color in the border using only cool colors and not ever going inside of this square. Now 
I am finished with my cool and warm square, you'll see that it's a great design. I have my warm colors all in one area and my cool colors in the outside. So I hope that you were able to follow along with me and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.